The idea of a time when paper boys were barking out the latest headlines seems like a fairy tale. Compared to today's online news media, on average, newspaper circulations across the country have decreased by 20% since the 90s. Morris Publishing Group, which owns the Florida Times Union in Jacksonville, saw the change coming, so they began restructuring their paper to fit their modern audience's needs. First of all, we saw the economic collapse that affected everybody's industry, certainly ours. At the same time, our business and the information landscape overall was going through a transformation uh, from older methods of getting the word out to the modern methods that we have. Change didn't come easy for the paper. When the economy began dropping, the parent company of the Times Union began liquidating much of its business. Dealing with that disruption, the loss of an information monopoly, is something that we faced at the same time we faced revenues declining because of the economy's collapse. So, you know, we spent a number of years figuring out who we were, what we needed to do, and right-sizing our business uh, to stay with revenues that obviously declined. We feel like we've weathered the storm. We feel like our company, you know, our, our company went through bankruptcy in early 2010. We emerged from bankruptcy very quickly. Uh, we then paid off refinance public debt two years ahead of schedule and the company is privately held uh, again and privately privately financed and we're now in a position where we're financially sound and viable and ready to grow. This time if the Times Union was going to succeed it was going to have to answer to its readers and satisfy their interests and desires. We asked our subscribers, we sent 4,200 emails inviting them to take a survey to tell us what they wanted to see in their newspaper. And what they told us, you know, we value you, we value what you represent, we appreciate what you're doing for us, the watchdog role that you serve, uh, the investigative journalism that you do, uh, your coverage of local and state government, and we want more of it. Beyond appeasing its subscribers, the paper had to become more than a copy desk. It needed to transform itself into a presentation desk, offering special programs to its readers. If you are a print subscriber, if you, if you subscribe to receive our print two days, three days, five days, seven days a week, whatever it is, if you subscribe to print, you are automatically an all-access member. And what that entitles you to is access to all of our content. Most of our content is still free on Jacksonville.com, but we created a site specifically for all access members, members.jacksonville.com, and there it, it's a completely premium version of our website. Today, local media websites are the first source people turn to for news and information. Although the convenience of digital tablets and smartphones create faster accessibility to information, Kurt argues that the print versions of newspapers are still very relevant in today's media-savvy age. Our whole industry understands the need to be digital, and whether they're digital first or digital also, or whatever it is, everyone understands the importance of being on digital plat platforms because more and more people are going there. We see revenue trends that show massive growth there. Um, I don't think you can commit too much to being digital. I think there's I think you can commit too little to the print product because it's still really, really important. Newspapers have ceased to exist as your father's morning paper, but now they are a 24-hour news operation.